Hello everyone and welcome to this entry to the CIG 18 short video competition. In this video I'll be giving a brief overview of a paper that my co-authors and I recently published at Gecko 18. You can find the link to the paper in the video description. Anyway, the main contribution of this paper is a new method for controllable content generation. We used Mario, which you probably know, to demonstrate it. So let's jump right into it. We use generative adversarial networks as generators for our Mario levels. To do this, however, they have to be trained on existing levels. Their training process can be described by the following fun little metaphor. Imagine the shady guy on the left is trying to forge Mario levels. This is obviously cause for a criminal investigation, so the detective on the right is trying to find evidence by identifying fake Mario levels. So basically, shady guy presents a level, detective guy guesses whether it is fake or real. Both of them get feedback on whether the detective was right or not. So ideally, over time, both of them get increasingly better at their respective jobs. This is it, pretty much. Here we have an overview of the whole process. The generator in green on the bottom is Shady Guy, which generates levels based on the random input vector. The discriminator is the detective who tries to figure out whether he is seeing real or fake levels. All levels are represented as matrices that in each cell contain a character that encodes a specific tile in Mario. We now get rid of the discriminator and just have the generator, so shady guy, create levels for us. We now have a mapping from a random vector to a new level. So let's see what we can come up with. As the video is scrolling through some examples, you might notice that some levels have a ceiling and some don't. This is because we had GANs trained separately on overworld and underground levels. If you've played Mario for a bit, you'll recognize the difference. You'll also find some familiar patterns, maybe. For example, we can see stairs in the overworld levels, rows of coins on ledges, or small groups of enemies. We also see quite some variety, and also a definitely unplayable level near the end of the slideshow. Now, you might be happy that you can generate so many different levels, but you might want to make sure that you only present playable ones to a player. This is where latent vector search comes in. Our task is now to find an input or latent vector to give to the generator so it generates the level we want. For the paper, we have used a popular evolutionary algorithm called CMAS to find such vectors with different fitness functions. We found, for example, that it is pretty easy to find vectors so that the generated levels contain a given number of enemies or ground tiles. However, this still does not really tell you whether the level is playable or not. To figure this out, we used a simulation. So we loaded the generated levels into the Mario AI competition framework and let Robin Baumgarten's A Star Agent play. This is what you're seeing here. So what do we have at the end of all this jumping? Basically, a controllable Mario level generator. We demonstrated that with the following level. We stacked some examples into a larger level where we increased the jump frequency throughout the level. You see at the very end, Mario's jumping very frantically. But besides finding nice Mario levels, you could also apply this technique to many different areas. For example, generating new Pokemon or even new StarCraft maps. Additionally, once the generator is trained, creating new levels is really fast. So it could be used to make new levels where a player is already playing potentially even catering to their playing style. Anyway, this is it from me, folks. You can find all the details in the paper linked in the description. The code is also on GitHub if you want to play around with it and get your own personalized Mario levels.